KYTPC. <coughs> I want to do a quick uh, end of the tin review. I uh, been smoking this a lot here lately, and I realized I was getting really close to the end, and I was wanting to do some final thoughts on it. Um, so it is Sutliff Virginia Slices 507C. I picked up an ounce uh, last year sometime because um, it was somebody told me it was really a very much like um, or the golden slice and when I, when I got it it was really nice real long flakes um, that's really about all I have left with some little bits right there. So I was going to pack this flake. Housekeeping real quick. Spoken out of my Cardinal House, Walkanoy, Bent, Billiard, I think that's what you would call that. I'm drinking some uh, Dunkin' Donuts Colombian roast. using my Ohio Briar tamper. I don't know if you guys have any like you guys have uh, you know larger collections of tampers you guys use a t different tamper every time you smoke a pipe or anything I am um, I guess I've been you know started collecting tampers I think a while ago now probably after the first three or four years of pipe smoking maybe I have some that were gifts from friends that they made, or like this Ohio Briar one came with the pipe that I, I purchased at Mule Town. And then you have um, different, you know, uh, guys that make tampers, selling them at pipe shows or whatever. I like to get a. Um, the buttons for your britches tamper eventually. But this Virginia Slices <clears throat> 507C from Sutliff, it's a uh, I've heard from a few people that it's a lot like uh, Orly Golden Sliced. But uh, I picked up an ounce. Last year sometime, I think. The jar no, it's like a it's like it's, you get the sweetness, but not like an aromatic sweetness. It's like a like a savory sweet. I'm not sure what else is in this. If it's if there's any perique at all, um, I should look that up actually before hitting record. I know or the golden slice. I mean, I've heard it has a very small amount of perique, so I, I'm not sure if this has anything like that as well. I 
But these are just like my final thoughts on it. I've been smoking it on and off here for a while. I've smoke, been smoking a lot more here lately just because it's a, uh, a Virginia and I like Virginias in the summertime. Smoking a little hot though. It's a. Uh... And I didn't, haven't done any really dry time because it's been such. Uh... It's, I mean, it's almost the perfect like humidity. Hasn't been. It's not super like wet or nothing. Because every I don't. I've talked about this before, but the pipe flick or yeah. Just flick your pipe like that, and the moisture <laughs> just comes out of your pipe. It helps. Sometimes if I'm puffing too hard when I'm driving, or too fast, and I'll just put my window down and just kind of just keep going like that out the window. And every time I do it, I'm just like, oh, please don't drop it. <laughs> like, it just would be terrible. But yeah, just getting you know the typical like hay and and uh, sweetness that you'd normally get in Virginia. So it's good. I don't think it's. I don't know. I would definitely buy it. I'd buy more of it if uh, if I didn't already have a bunch of tobacco. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's definitely a great all day, any time of the year smoke. It definitely, I think, goes better in the summertime. Um, here I got, I got a, yeah, I was a Ohio pipe show this weekend, and we had planned on going. Um, my mother-in-law lives in Ohio and so you know we're gonna visit with <clears throat> my wife's side of the family um, then I could go to the show for a good while but uh we gotta buy some new tires for the van and some other things and I'm I got a lot of things coming up in September I got like my, my sister's wedding's coming up and so yeah I had a some money down on a tuxedo and or rent a tuxedo and all that stuff so just wasn't in the cards for this year so hopefully next year we can make it because I haven't been to the Ohio show in a while I went one year a long time ago this is when I think it was still in Dublin Ohio which I think it might still be in Dublin maybe it's a different resort or a different hotel I can't remember but uh I have only gone once, and I really, it's a cooler show, it's a smaller show, different show, you know, not as big as Chicago or anything like that. It feels kind of like <clears throat> Mule Town, I think, a little bit, but also not because Mule Town, you can smoke on the show floor and stuff, and it's a lot of different vibe, but Ohio is like a different, completely different vibe from Chicago and Mealtown. I remember there's always a lot of vintage tobaccos too that were sold. <clears throat> but it, it kind of works out that we canceled because I have a second interview tomorrow. Um, for a job a lot closer to home, pretty much cut my driving time in half on the on the way to work. I drive an hour one way right now, or probably even a little bit more than an hour because of road construction around here. It's kind of ridiculous. I've got to com completely take a different route to work, and so it's almost like an hour, fifteen minutes. So that's about a 27 minute drive to work, which would be a lot better. It's all highway too, so 
and then uh, it's also for a day shift position so that's it's, it's gonna make you know family life a, a ton better oh real quick uh, fantasy football I've, <laughs> I've said it before but maybe didn't catch a catch the last couple times I've said it or mentioned it but if you're interested I'll put a link in the description to join it's the uh, YTPC fantasy football league the second year we've been doing or we've done it um, we got plenty of open spots it's it's set for a 20 team league it's not gonna be that that many I, I doubt I just kept it that many just in case if we had a lot of interest we can make it work but it'd be It'd be pretty competitive if there was that many, many teams. But um, anyways, I don't want to make this too long. I just wanted to, I guess, talk about this tobacco a little bit. 507C Virginia slices from Sutliff. Um, I yeah, it's definitely it's a great, a great Virginia. I would um, like if I didn't already have a, a few tins of Orlick stowed away to age I'd probably you know buy some more of this if it's ever like I don't know a sale or something on sell of tobacco and I you know I'd probably buy eight ounces to a pound of it maybe I mean it's some nice long flakes too so um, but I think it's a pretty it's a good tobacco to you know I think jar up and have on hand for the summertime If you're a, if you like Virginias. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna jump on, jump off here and finish this bowl. Probably smoke some more stuff. It's I, I got the you know an extra day of the weekend, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.